Let's uh, check out this white bark. It's got some dead foliage here. Uh, that's often a symptom of blister rust. My name is Diana Tomback, and I'm a professor in the biology department at the University of Colorado at Denver. In the uh, greater Yellowstone area and the Northern Rockies, we have what we call the center of abundance of white bark pine. White bark pine seeds are one of the most important foods for the grizzly bear. So the loss of white bark pine here um, really opens a lot of questions about the food availability for the grizzly bear. Here's a brand new canker that came in through the needles. White bark pines are in trouble um, because of several threats. Yep, we've got blister rust here. In fact, um, there's a canker with this year's uh, aceous spores. We then have pine beetle outbreaks killing white bark pine trees, which is a result of warming temperatures on top of the blister rust killing white bark pine trees. And then of course the last threat, which is the big unknown, is the threat of global warming. Global warming is a result of the buildup of heat trapping pollution in the atmosphere. I'm Daniel Lashoff, the science director of NRDC's Climate Center. We now have more CO2 in the atmosphere than at any time in the last 600,000 years. And that CO2 traps heat, which causes the Earth's surface to warm up. Pollution from cars and power plants is primarily responsible. Now, a good question is whether we have blister rust on any of this regeneration coming in. Some global warming scenarios may increase the rate of spread of blister rust. This is the canker here, and this is the bottom of the canker with the spores coming out. The cankers grow down toward the trunk. Blister rust kills trees, but before it kills trees, it will often take out the branches of the trees. It kills them by girdling the branches. The cankers are growing in the living bark. The problem with that is that's where the seed-bearing cones are carried. So that means it is reducing the tree's capacity to reproduce. On average, averaged across the greater Yellowstone, 25% of the trees are infected with blister rust. That's bad news for the grizzly bear. It's bad news for all the um, birds and mammals that eat white bark pine seeds. You know, when people learn about where we are with global warming and the effects we're already being beginning to see in the predictions, it's pretty easy to get depressed. But I'm actually very optimistic. Individuals as citizens should be demanding that their elected representatives take responsible action to address global warming. But as consumers, we can also make better choices about the kind of energy we use uh, by selecting renewable energy sources uh, and by using energy as efficiently as possible. I think that we have the know-how to change the way we produce and consume energy to get on a path to clean energy sources that aren't contributing to global warming.